Hi, this is Jolanda Van Veen, and in this segment we're going to talk about how to stop trees from growing. Now, trees will grow no matter what. That's their mission in life. They want to grow. But there are a few things that you can do to slow them down or at least control their growth. But first of all, you always have to remember when you're selecting a tree for your site, don't put a tree that's going to get to be 30 feet tall under the eaves of your house. Because half the time when you buy a house in a new development, they put the trees right up to the house and they're small little cute little red maples and nice little cedar trees and they're just beautiful when you buy your house. But five to 10, 20 years down the road, the trees are huge, they're getting into the roof, they're getting into everything. So first off, when you decide if you can stop a tree from growing, before you even have that problem, you've got to realize when you move into your house and the trees are near the house, they're going to grow. So move them when they're young. Move them to an area where they can get tall. Saying that, there are some trees that you can trim back and stop them from growing as tall. You can't really do it with a cedar tree because if you chop a cedar tree at the top, that main branch out, a lot of times it'll just die. You've got to leave that main branch. So for cedar type trees or pine trees, you really can't stop them from growing in any way. But if you have lilac trees or deciduous trees, a lot of times you can trim them back and they won't grow as tall in the future. So this is a lilac tree and I really like lilacs to be very lush and bushy because if you don't trim them back they just get really long and lanky with a few blooms on the top and you can't even enjoy those blooms because they're too tall. So when they're really a young tree you start trimming them back one-third the size every year. You can stop a tree from growing just by trimming it back one-third the height every year. As soon as they're done blooming, especially in the fall with a lilac, you can pretty much trim them anytime they're not blooming. But I like to trim mine back in the fall, right before they've lost their leaves or right after they've lost their leaves. You don't want to trim back your trees too much because if you trim back all these little buds off of them and there's no buds left, you won't get blooms the next year. But you will get blooms probably that second year. So if you have a tree that's out of control, just free, feel free to whack it back and hopefully it'll grow better the next year. But in the end, if you have a tree and you want to stop it from growing, there's nothing you can do in the end as far as the tree is going to grow. If you stop watering it, it will die. If you give it too much shade, it will die. So in the end, if you have a huge tree that's too big for that area, you really got to dig it up and move it into another area or just chop it down or get rid of it altogether and start with a tree that doesn't get as tall. So do your research when you're planting trees and give trees a lot of space. When they're small, they only need a little bit of space, but if you live in a small development, do not buy a tree that's going to get 30 feet tall by 20 feet wide. It's not going to do it any favor and it's going to really make your neighbors mad.